The highly anticipated Great Search, brought to you every single week by DigiKey and Adafruit. It's so exciting, even sitting here, I knew it was going to happen. I have a full seat, but I only need the edge. Okay, so what is this week's Great Search where Lady Adaf helps you find all the things you need on digikey.com? Okay, well, let's go to the overhead, and I'm going to show, I'm going to re-intro this and then get, get right to it. So... On this design for a 900 megahertz uh, radio module, we have uh, a low cost antenna option where you just solder a piece of wire. We have these spring antennas that they're like a couple cents. Um, you solder them into a through hole port, but let's say you want a really big antenna, like you want uh, something panel mounted that you can um, connect to the outside of a box. It can be you know, waterproof then, and then just the antenna sticking out. Um, for these, uh, you'll want to connect an SMA uh, and antenna that's the most common like uh you know 400 to 8 to 800 900 megahertz antennas almost all use sma um for the connector they look like this and you need something that takes this and uh lets you plug it into uh this micro ufl now you might wonder well why not just have an sma connector on your boards um you can um people definitely do i have dev boards that have an sma connector on them you can plug the antenna directly in but that sort of means, um, first off, you need a lot more space. They have to be hand soldered or wave soldered. They're, they're physically large. They can't be pick and placed, whereas UFL can. The trade-off is, you know, if you use UFL, um, they're a little delicate. They only are really meant for about 10 to 50 plugs and unplugs. So you do have to be careful with them because they're so tiny and delicate. They are good for up to six gigahertz, um, you know, but you need to have this adapter. And you need to have a little adapter cable that'll take you from UFL to SMA. One thing um, I want to mention, because this has tripped everybody up so many times I've seen. So um, you can have, you see how this has a little slot in the middle, there's a hole. And this antenna here, this like huge antenna here, has the little pokey part. So the pokey part has to go in and matches up with the whole part. This screws in, the outside is ground, it makes a nice solid connection. The RF signal is actually go, goes through the center bit, the little coaxial bit. But if you are doing 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi or BLE or Zigbee or anything that uses 2.4 gigahertz, the antennas are RPSMA, reverse polarity, which means if you notice, there's a hole there. So if you plug this into an SMA, notice that there's nothing connect, it won't connect through. And you'll be like, my antenna's broken, my SMA adapter's broken, my board's broken, my, my radio signal's really bad. You need a different one called an RPSMA. I'll, I'll, I'll probably be able to show you that they have UFL to RPSMA, reverse polarity. So just watch out. 2.4 gigahertz and only 2.4 gigahertz, maybe 5 gigahertz also these days, because 5 gigahertz is used for Wi-Fi. They'll have RPSMA connections. See? Hole in the middle. Whereas what we're going to talk about is 900 megahertz, which is SMA which has the uh, the pokey part on the antenna, not the adapter. I don't want to talk about days that I've lost being like, what's wrong with my design until I finally realized opening it up. I'm like, oh my God, it's not connected through because I had 2.4 gigahertz with the wrong connector. Okay. Uh, every, everyone's bumped into this. So I'm going to try to save you some time. So what we want is a little cable that takes uh, UFL here. And this is the UFL connector. And again, on an earlier great search, we covered uh, the UFL connector. It's pick and place. Uh, they're almost completely universal. Basically, if it's not SMA, it's almost always UFL. It plugs in like this, and it actually has a little bit of rotation. So just be aware of that. If you need to, you can um, uh, mechanically stabilize this. But you know, it can rotate a little bit. And then this part, you'll notice, is bulkhead uh, panel mountable. So you can unscrew this and you have a very wide um, uh, panel mount that you can connect to. You've got some uh, locking nuts as well and then um, a nice plated hex nut and you, you know, you screw it in, you attach it, then you have, make sure you have plenty of thread um, for your not RPSMA or SMA. Uh, you can then plug this in to make a nice solid connection. You'll note, I mean, maybe if we have time we'll show it but uh basically the the db uh rssi goes to like you know negative 20 instead of negative 60. okay so let's go to 
Did you get me? Go back to the computer. Let's go to the computer. I'm finally ready. Okay. So what we're looking for, and again, there's SMA and RPSMA. I don't want to talk about how many times I messed that up. And also UFL, there's WFL. Um, and sometimes it's like UFL two or UFL three. There's a lot of different versions. So just, just be aware. Um, you might want to check data sheets, use your calipers to make sure what you're looking at is the right width of what you're, you think it is. So UFL it's, um, uh, Hiroshi is the original makers of the parts or maybe it's pronounced Hiros. Uh, Hiroshi is the original maker of the UFL, but it's now universal. You'll see it everywhere. UFL to SMA. Um, and so you can get the individual connectors. Also, you can get um, these adapters. So just to show the difference between the cables and the adapters, um, here's where you would go if by chance you have to connect an RP SMA thing to an SMA thing. You have to like, you know, switch which side is the pokey part and which is the plug and which is the socket. You can get adapters that do the changeover for you. So that that's available, but let's just try to get the right thing the first time. Um, so coaxial cable. So first off, let's get uh, active only and then um let's make sure i mean in my case we're happen to be using um 900 megahertz but you know uh let's just make sure we can do at least 2.4 gigahertz and then uh in stock let's apply okay um so we're gonna have at the end um uh, free mount sorry uh panel mount not free hanging free hanging would mean you know maybe it's an adapter and then goes to another cable or something but we want what i showed you where it has the the screw you know goes through the panel and you hex mount it on so panel mount uh, and then you can check different lengths you know um they go up basically from two inches which is a little bit too short and three inches to maybe uh you know 19 or 17 or so so let's do that let's just make sure it's a little longer than two um so ufl co sometimes called umcc uh note that they do have uh rpsma which we don't want we want sma and then and also sometimes they have right angle or or not but uh and you can see there's like tons of these apply all you know, and then it's just a matter of like, um, you know, there's different makers, different lengths. Um, you know, honestly, this one looks like pretty good and it's only, you know, three bucks. Uh, sometimes I look at, uh, you know, what they have the most in stock of. Amphenol, you know, they make a version. Um, you can see here, it's got, you know, the right UFL connector. This one from Tau Glass is good to TE. Um, they're all good. I mean, all of them are going to do what you want. They just have sometimes different cabling, um, different high, you know, highest frequency. This one comes with an O-ring. You know, um, this one from Tau Glass is perfectly fine. So I'd say, you know, you want just a short cable. Um, goes down to a couple bucks a piece when you get them in quantity. This one is a, a good option. I'm going to pick some of these up and then, um, you know, then you can just attach whatever uh antenna you want on the other side maybe next next great search will sh uh search for a uh, nice lore antenna to pair with this feather that's a great search where in the world